can't say excited that many times. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am the opening and trying the new collection from Hip Dot. This is the Hip Dot and Hanukkah Rugrats collection, and it is very shiny, so I will try not to blind you. So this was announced like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, and I startled my husband because I yelled, oh my god, so loudly. He came in, he got really hyped, and he was so also excited for it that he's actually the one that bought this <laughs> when it went on sale. So I'm really excited to open this up, play, and test it out. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I'm a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup, especially indie makeup and colorful makeup. And I have new videos every week, so I'd love to have you subscribe. So I will say neither of us are Jewish, but we do have a lot of Jewish friends. He used to work at a Jewish community center when we lived in New York. But this has been one of our favorite cartoons our whole lives. So we were both born in the late 80s. We've both loved Rugrats our whole lives, and we still watch the Rugrats Passover and Hanukkah videos every year. So when I saw this, I knew I had to have it, and I showed him, and he was like, well, we have to have it. So this is the PR box. This is the collector's box. This was, I think, $70. Um, I will put the price here, and you could also buy the things individually, but the box was cute, and you got a couple other things by getting the whole box. And this was actually just delivered. We finished eating dinner. He had a notification that the mail was here and it had been delivered. So I ran down to the mailbox, got it, came up here and put on a quick face to film. And because it's almost eight o'clock at night, I am drinking a hard seltzer and did the fastest face I could. Um, I didn't even use foundation. I just used concealer and then bronzer, blush and highlighter um, and then primed my eyes. So very fast. So Hip Dot's pretty well known for their collaborations. It's basically all they do at this point, um, or most of what they do at this point. And I do see a lot of people making fun of their collaborations. Although I feel like every brand is doing collaborations and nostalgic things. Um, makeup, for <laughs> makeup Revolution being the worst. But I do have their first two palettes and I haven't tried anything since. I almost bought the Kesha palette and I still do want the Meatball palette because I like I love Meatball as a drag queen. I've seen Meatball. It's a rainbow palette. I don't actually own a rainbow palette. I want the Blend Bunny one, but that would also be cute. I like that it's it's this size and it's all of the rainbow colors, the trans flag colors, and then some glitters. Um, but I do have their first two palettes and I really like these. I think the quality is really good, especially for the price. They're pigmented, they blend well, and they're pretty. So this is the first two and these are the original packaging. Um, they no longer come in this, they come thinner. So this is the Zion palette and you can see it looks pretty thick and that's because it has this little kickstand thing. So their original palettes had this so that when they were open, they would stand up like that on um, a desk or a table or something. And I think people said they would prefer it without so they were thinner. So now they've, this part isn't there anymore and it's just a normal palette as far as I can see online. I really like the themes of these first two and the color stories, so I still use them periodically, they're really beautiful. So this is supposed to be the colors of Zion National Park. And you can see the colors here. This one I've used less than the other. Um, this virgin shade up here I've used quite a bit because it's just a really pretty peachy gold. Um, and then the one I've used the most out of the two is the cenote, which is themed around Mexican cenotes. And it's no big surprise why it's my favorite of the two it's blues and then some like warm neutrals and golds and this cave shade is a really pretty green like olivey green metallic so i really like these <clears throat> i've seen some people complain about the quality of the newer things especially like teresa's dead recently just did a video complaining about or a couple of videos complaining about their like board game collection that they came out with and i think she already decluttered it because she hated it so much we don't always agree on palettes like she hated Metropolis and I love Metropolis so um but I'm curious to see how this lives up to the original palettes that I have from them so this is the box like I said it retailed for about $70 I'll put it here and then you could also buy most of the pieces individually so it opens up like this and then it did come with some little stickers there's a little Santa um shirtless Santa Looks very queer. I like that. 
and then a little bunny and dear santa i'm baby and then this is the box so it's got the sheet masks here which there's two chucky and two angelica so we each get one um these look horrifying i can't wait to use them um and then it's got the little palette right here it's got a sponge these lip gloss glitter things that i'm really unsure about i mostly wanted the palette the sponge was cute but by getting the whole box you also got this tommy playing dreidel pin and roy and i are gonna fight over that um i think he's already claimed it but we'll see so i'm not gonna use either of these today but i will play with the palette the lips and i'm gonna leave the sponge as is but let's let me pull out the sponge real quick so this is the baby blue sponge it says it's vegan PETA tested so it's cruelty free and all of that and it says Rugrats right there let's see what the actual sponge looks like I know they also have rainbow sponges that go with their pride collections so I do kind of want some of those they look like the same size but they're tiered rainbow so this feels soft squishy just feels like a sponge and it says Rugrats there Viacom trademark and a little Tommy Pickles so that's really cute I don't know if I'll use that because it's so cute um but I'll definitely hang on to that for a while and then it's got these two glitter lip glosses so I think this side is just a lip gloss and this is just a glitter so you can wear it together um this one is Tommy and this one is Angelica and then they're blue and gold. They're, you know, it's all Hanukkah themed. So I will try one of these out. And um, then the pin was kind of hard to get out, but it's super cute. It's just Tommy. Tommy was always my favorite. And he's got a little dreidel. I think this is super cute. It's a nice quality pin. And then here is the palette. It's a little nine pan palette. Um, and the names are perfect. They go along with the special. So it's got Angelica and Chucky here. We actually just watched this again yesterday. And then when you open it up, it says hip dot regrets and it has Tommy playing right here. And then here are the nine pan palette. So unsurprising on the colors, it's blues. There's a gold shimmer, three neutral mattes. Um, this one looks really pale, but I can probably use these two. Well, I can definitely use that one. And then there's two press glitters, um, which I'm not a huge fan of. They do have a lot of press glitters in their palettes and they have palettes full of them. But I've never tried there, so we'll see. I might try one tonight. This one, the To Be or Maccabee, is just like blue sparkles. It looks really pretty. And then this one, Mimi of Hanukkah, is silver and it has like full silver stars in it. So that's really pretty. Um, so I'm super excited for this. So I might not do swatches just because they ruin the imprints and they don't really tell you much other than the colors. Um, but I'm definitely gonna do something blue because it's my favorite color. So I've gotta try the blues and compare them to the other blues from them I've tried. So I'll probably do blues and the Maca Baby gold shade. So the shades here, there's Hanukkah Wish, Menorah Harmonica, because the babies called it a harmonica, um, To Be or Maca Bee, Five Fathers, Maca Baby, Meaning of Hanukkah, Tapato pancakes and cradle. So I think this is super cute. And then it's, I just realized it has fill in a little down here. So I'm gonna try out this lip gloss real quick. So they're both double sided. I've never used a double sided lip gloss like this. And I think it's just, yeah, it's just a clear gloss. Um, there is. I can't tell if those sparkles are in the gloss or like in the plastic around the gloss. It's really hard to tell. And then these, I'm not sure if it's a glitter gloss or just glitter. So let's try this gold. Okay. So yeah, it's just a gold, I think it's a gold gloss. I don't think I'll ever really wear this again. I, I could see using this as a lip gloss topper or a lipstick topper, but by itself, 
I feel a little, a little weird. Yeah. So it's just glitter. Um, so it could definitely topped on top of a lipstick or another gloss or something. I can see this as a topper if you wanted something really dramatic and metallic. So I'm not mad that I have it, but I don't really see myself using either very often. But they're cute and they go with the theme. But I think I'm gonna wipe this off because it doesn't feel gritty, it feels fine. I just don't think I wanna wear gold lips. <clears throat> okay, so I mostly wiped that off and now I'm gonna try the blue just to see. So it just looks blue, and let's see, yeah, it's just blue glitter. So I feel like if you were doing like a specific look, this could be fun, but by itself it just makes me look sick. So I will not be wearing those very often, but I had to try. The glitter doesn't really want to come off. Obviously I have these shades in my collection elsewhere, um, especially the blues and like the gold shimmer. So I could do the same look with other palettes, but they really did. This is the first time they've gotten me with the theme. I just could not help it. Um, I think this, and then there's the two glitters, which I will touch at the end because I don't want them to go everywhere. <clears throat> so if you're nervous about trying blue eyeshadow, I suggest trying like a brown in your crease and then putting some blue out here and blending it in. That'll help it work better. And I might use one of these to blend the edges, but I think I'm gonna straight into the blues and I'm gonna pick up some of Hanukkah Wish, the bright blue on my Sigma. This is a Sigma E38, my go-to starting brush. And I already have my Urban Decay primer on, so I'm just going to kind of stamp this all over my crease picked up a lot and see how this works so it's a fairly pigmented bright blue it's a nice color I don't know anybody else that has bought this palette so if you have let me know I'm really curious if anybody else fell for this uh fell for the hype also this is the first time I've ever seen a Hanukkah themed makeup thing they're always Christmas things this time of year. I have never seen a Hanukkah collection, so that made me really happy. So that worked. That worked decently. I have no issues. I don't really need to blend much. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Five Fathers, the really pale shade, and blend the edges just a little bit. And then using a smaller brush, this is an E33 from Sigma. I'm going to take Menora, the next darkest blue. And I'm going to put that in my crease and see how that works. Just a pretty true blue. So these are nice and pigmented. Not having any issues. And it seems to be blending nicely. I like this brush because it's skinny and fluffy, so it works really well to go through your actual crease and then it blends a little bit above and below as well. There's a little bit of sparkle. I think there's just some straight glitter speckles because um, none of these have glitter in them. Yeah, there's little blue dots all over. So that's the problem with press glitters in a palette is they can kind of spread. But that blended nicely. I don't have any skipping or patchiness. Could use a little bit more right there. And then using an even smaller Sigma brush, this is an E20, E42. I'm gonna pick up the dark shade, mix it up very nicely, and I would also say there's like no kick up in the pan. And I'm gonna put that out here. It's a nice pigmented blue. I've almost bought their SpongeBob palette a few times, but I'm not the biggest SpongeBob fan. It's just like, it's cute when it's cheap. It's like, oh, do I want it just because it's cheap? But then it's like, even still, it's like 20 bucks that I could spend on something else that I 
really, really want. I try not to buy things just because they're on sale. But if it's something that I've been wanting and it's on sale, then yes. And that's how I got a whole bunch of Natasha out recently. Okay, so this is a nice dark blue. Um, I think those have layered nicely together. I'm going to go back in with the bright blue and just kind of blend everything together. Yeah, these are, these are nice blues. They're working very well. And blue is not an easy color for brands, as many of you know. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that on the other eye real quick. Yeah, so far I like these mattes. They work really well. Um, I don't think I like them as much as my blue shades from Lethal, but you know, for like a $20 palette, that's really cute. They work really well. They're not bad by any means. I just, I think my Lethal shades blend a little bit more easily into each other, but these still look nice and took very little effort. So. So now that I've got the glitter glue on, I'm going to take the Maca Baby shade, which is the gold, and I'm just going to put that all over the glitter glue and see how it looks. Just a nice yellow gold. And it's okay. It's a pretty shade. It's not my favorite shimmer but it's definitely pretty. Might work better sprayed or something like that. But I think it looks, it looks nice. It's like a little drier of a formula, but not dry, if that makes sense. I think everything's a scale. Okay, yeah, I definitely think the shimmer would work best sprayed versus glitter glue, but it looks fine. It worked well. It's pretty. Okay, so before I do any final touches, I'm going to swatch the two press glitters the back of my hand, see how they feel, see if I want to use any of them at all. And then, yeah, so that's a really pretty glitter. So I don't use glitter very often, but I would use this under the right, for the right look. It's blue, but it's got a bit of a purple shift to it. It's really pretty. And then this one is very, very chunky, but it's just a nice silver, but it does have those little stars in it. So that's what makes it so chunky. So here's the blue glitter. So yeah, just it's just a glitter. It's just a pressed glitter, but it does have a bit of a shift to it. So it's a really pretty one. And then... The silver is just a silver. So over a glitter glue, those would be more impactful. <clears throat> I really like the blue. I am uh, don't think I'll use it very often, but I'm not mad that I have that blue shimmer. It is my, or blue glitter. It is my favorite color after all. So I'm gonna wash this off real quick. And then I think I'm gonna go throw mascara and stuff on and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I finished the look with my House Labs eyeliner and then the Bite Beauty mascara. Um, this I got in that little Sephora bundle of Sephora favorite mascaras, and I know this is my friend Kelly, uh, Keep Beauty Real's favorite, or one of her favorites, so I've been trying that the last couple days. Um, so this seems nice. I think I like the Pat McGrath a little bit more, but this, this is nice. And then I added a little bit more of the gold shimmer just down here and in my inner corner, since it's the only shimmer and I didn't really... There wasn't a shade in the other hip dot palettes I have that I wanted to use either. <clears throat> so thoughts on the collection and the palette. I think it's really cute. I probably could have saved money and just ordered the palette to try, but I wanna try the face mask. I, we both wanted the pin. I'll use the sponge or just keep it cause it's cute. So the only thing in here that I'm like eh on is the lip glosses. Um, the clear side is fine. It's a clear lip gloss. And I feel like I might use the gold in a certain look. I don't know if I'll ever use the blue. <laughs> um, but this is adorable. As far as the palette, I think the quality is fine. I think it's totally worth the 
probably 20 bucks, I think that it was. I'll, like I said, I'll put it down below. I don't remember right now. Um, but especially if you're a Rugrats and a Rugrats Hanukkah fan like I am and like we are, I am really happy I got this. I think it's adorable. The packaging is super cute. Um, and the shades all worked really well. This isn't my favorite shimmer. I like the shimmers in their other palettes more than this that I have. And I wish these weren't press glitters. I wish these were shimmers. I wish this was a silver shimmer, and then I wish this was a duochrome shimmer and not a duochrome glitter. That's my one complaint. And if you don't like press glitters, I would say maybe avoid it because there are little speckles of the blue glitter all over. The Tapedo Pancake shade swatched really nicely, so I don't doubt that that will work nicely, especially with these two together for a nice neutral look. The shimmer, the one gold shimmer, it's nice. It worked well. Is it my favorite shimmer? No. I do like the ones in the other palettes more than this, but it's not bad. It's just not as nice as those or as others that I have. Um, if I'm going to go for a gold like this, I'm probably going to go with Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona. But, um, and the blues. The blues all worked really well. I think they layered nicely. I don't didn't have any patchiness. I didn't have any... Uh, spots of like things disappearing like looking at the blue everything's still there it blended nicely there was a gradient so there's no patchiness no muddying mm -hmm. um so yeah I think I think the quality is good I think this is really cute and if it speaks to you and you have a spare 20 bucks I totally think this is worth grabbing as a cute little m memorabilia thing um but is it a must-have item? No, but no makeup is a must-have item. <clears throat> so I'm excited to have this. I don't know how often I'll grab it because I do have a lot of blues in my collection, but yeah, I'm not mad that I have this. I will one day use <laughs> this glitter somewhere um, and I'll try out the browns someday soon and let people know in an update later. But I'm, I think this is really cute and I'm also just excited to see, well, a Rugrats collab for one but also a Hanukkah thing. I've just, I've never seen a Hanukkah collection like this. And I think that's just really important and really interesting. I think brands need to branch out from just Christmas, th Christmas things. Some brands, a lot of brands do quote unquote holiday and it doesn't necessarily have a theme that is Christmas or something, but a lot of brands have Christmas things. ColourPop just did a Rudolph collab. Um, there's the Give Me Glow, like Christmas morning palette. There's lots of things like that out there and there's not really a lot of this um, or other holidays. So brands start doing other stuff. It will sell, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, let me know if you grabbed this or what you think of it um, or if you've grabbed other collab kind of things like this. This is the first I've done of like one of the nostalgia collaborations. So let me know what you think of the look and what you think of the little palette. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.